So in this class, I want to take students on a tourist tour of the universe as we astronomers understand it. Uh, we generally divide the universe into three realms. Uh, the realm of the planets with which we share our solar system, the sun's family, if you will. Uh, the realm of the Milky Way galaxy, the stars with which we share a giant island of stars in the universe. And then the biggest and most mind-blowing of the realms, which is the realm of the galaxies, the realm of other galaxies, the whole universe of space. And what I want to do is to use some of the best pictures from the biggest telescopes on Earth and giant telescopes in space, like the Hubble Space Telescope, to really take students on what is best described as a tourist tour. When you go to another country and you take a bus tour and stop off at all the great sites and get to understand a little bit about them and how the history of the country hangs together, that's what I want to do with the universe, to show you the greatest sites of each realm, explain both why they're interesting and beautiful on their own, but then also figure out how those particular sites fit into the big picture of how we've come to understand the cosmos. Uh, and there are three questions that I, I hope by the end of the class we'll be able to answer. Uh, question number one is, are there any other worlds near us that are like the Earth? Uh, are any other of the planets or the moons with which we share one system, places where we could go and set up uh, another OLLI program or something like that? And we will see that the answer is no, that the worlds with which we share our cosmic neighborhood are extremely alien. The conditions there would be deadly to human beings, but that doesn't mean they couldn't have life. They're just very deadly for our particular kind of life. So we'll see that if we don't take care of the Earth, we don't have any immediately good places to move. The second question I want to ask is, um, how do stars live and die, and how does their life story affect our life story? And at first, that may seem really crazy. Shouldn't the life story of the stars be completely separate from the, the lives that we lead on the sheltering environment of the Earth? But the answer turns out to be no. In fact, a lot of the reasons we exist, a lot of the reasons why humans on Earth are possible, has to do with the life story, the life and death of stars. So we want to talk about what we've learned about the whole relationship between stars and humans and what that tells us about our past and our destiny. And then third, and perhaps most complex and wonderful, is to look at what we call the Big Bang Theory, to look at our modern picture of the history of the whole universe and to ask how do we think everything in nature came about how has it evolved? And can we say anything at all about the future? What will be the ultimate future of everything, of all of existence? Now, it takes very conceited people to claim that we can do that. And we astronomers are relatively modest. All we can give you is a kind of progress report of what we know. But I want to fill you in on some of the remarkable progress we've made in understanding the large-scale picture of the universe in space and time. I hope you can join.